The city of San Gabriel is a city in the county of Los Angeles. It has a population of 39,718 people, which consists primarily of Asians. The city was named after one of the California missions called the Mission San Gabriel Archangel, which was founded by Juni Pedro Serra, making the city known as a city with a mission. The acceptance of diversity has been one of San Gabriel's strengths since it was found. The city has been welcoming to those of different ethnicity, backgrounds, cultures, and values. San Gabriel's official city website states that they have an outstanding educational environment, visually attractive neighborhoods, and safe streets, which are the reasons why the residents adore the city. My name is Byron, and I approve this message. I used to live in San Gabriel, and I love it. This is the house I used to live in, but it looks really ugly now. San Gabriel is recognized as a city with a myriad of dining selections, from gourmet Italian food to authentic Asian cuisine. Besides the great variety of restaurants, there are also parks and many shopping centers and supermarkets in the city, convenient for the locals to make purchases. Oh yeah, we forgot to mention, the boba here is pretty freaking awesome. San Gabriel provides little opportunities for recycling. They only provide recycling drop boxes for clothes and shoes. Not only it benefits the environment, but also help charities like DARE. It is also important to be aware of electronic waste and how to dispose them properly. E-waste accomplish two tasks, recover materials and control the potential toxicity and emissions. We recommend for the city of San Gabriel to provide recycling bins that are designated for aluminum cans, glass bottles, plastic bottles, mixed paper, and even for electronic waste. We also recommend for the city to have recycling centers that can provide people of San Gabriel access to these facilities right where they live in instead of having to go to nearby cities to recycle. Plus, with the recycling center, it gives the people extra change for their pockets. Lastly, it is also important to use reusable products from bottles to bags to reduce the amount of waste that needs to be disposed. The more we can reuse, the less we have to throw away. By recycling, San Gabriel will help lessen the amount of waste in the landfills, thus reducing pollution. It will decrease the emissions from greenhouse gases that we are experiencing in our climate today. San Gabriel shows sustainability being utilized in the behavior of energy consumption in many ways based on transportation. One type of transportation we generally see is the usage of cars, but we notice very few that are energy efficient such as hybrids, and electric cars. Other types of alternative transportation forms we notice are of public transportation, bicycles, and walking. We recommend increasing sustainability in energy consumption by taking the alternative forms of transportation. For example, our group carpooled to the city of San Gabriel while working on the project. We recommend that people of San Gabriel should look into choosing to buy or use cars that are eco-friendly for the environment and the city can do so by providing information based on energy efficient cars in town meetings. We also recommend that the city of San Gabriel should accommodate to the safety of cyclists by making bike lanes accessible. And lastly, we recommend that people in San Gabriel should try to use public transportation as much as possible in order to reduce the high gas prices and be more energy efficient. San Gabriel is a city recognized for its extensive and diverse food choices. There are over 250 restaurants alone in the city and it's particularly known for having some of the best Asian restaurants in the San Gabriel Valley. Besides dining, the coffee shops and boba joints in the area are also very well known. For example, Factory Tea Bar, Half and Half, and Oh My Pan. Grocery stores such as Nai Nai Ranch Market, Hong Kong Supermarket, and Shin Fat Supermarket are the most popular grocery stores among its residents. The locals enjoy shopping at these markets in particular because they are able to purchase meat and fresh produce at a more reasonable price by comparison. Many cities in the San Gabriel Valley are starting to add an organic aisle in the market so their customers are able to purchase natural and fresh produce. However, it seems that the grocery stores in San Gabriel aren't planning to make this modification anytime soon. We recommend that the markets in San Gabriel add a division that offers organic and natural items to generate diversity in food choices. Half of the residents in the city does not care about buying healthier alternatives, but for those who do, it would be much more convenient to have them nearby so they don't need to travel to another city for their purchase. It is surprising to know that there are not many restaurants in San Gabriel that offers organic or healthy alternatives. A restaurant named Green Zone is one of the few places that promise their customers that the dishes they serve are all MSG free. Furthermore, the ingredients are pure, fresh, and organic. 
A high percentage of the population living in San Gabriel claim that they do not have the time to eat or prepare a healthy meal, which we believe is a golden opportunity for those who want to start a business to answer to this need in the city. Because the city's population consists of mostly Asians, interested vendors should consider opening Asian fast casual restaurants, which offers mainly healthy selections. Lemonade, a fast casual dining restaurant, is a success story of this category because it caters to those who want to grab a quick bite and eat healthy. The reason why Lemonade is successful is because they are able to accommodate those who are seeking for accessible and healthy delicious food at a reasonable price. Therefore, we highly recommend business people who have a passion for food and eating healthy to consider opening restaurants similar to Lemonade in San Gabriel. Sustainable integration has yet to reach the housing sector of the San Gabriel communities. San Gabriel has begun building more sustainable housing units, but many of the houses were built between the 1950s and 2000 and are still not eco-friendly. These single-family homes and multi-family housing units were built with non-sustainable materials such as stucco, chemical foams, and composite materials. Many of these homes were also built with ceramic tile and tar-based roofs. These materials are non-recyclable, constantly need to be replaced, require high maintenance, and can cause long and short-term health problems. Water conservation is important, especially in Southern California, and while touring different communities within San Gabriel, many of the single-family homes were landscaped with grass, trees, and bushes. This type of landscaping requires high maintenance and large amounts of water. To increase a more sustainable housing sector in San Gabriel, we recommend that the city provide eco-friendly guidelines for residents to follow when making renovations to their current home or when they are building new houses. City officials can do this by using government agencies such as the Environmental Protection Agency to help educate current and future homeowners on sustainable living and building. We recommend that current and future homeowners begin to use rock and brick materials to landscape their yards. We encourage the residents of San Gabriel to start using clay or solar tiles to rebuild their roofs with. These materials might be a little bit more expensive at first, but they will help conserve energy and water and save residents money in the long run. With these guidelines and recommendations, residents can begin to make the necessary changes to create a more eco-friendly city and can contribute to the sustainable movement.